Let G be a simple undirected graph. Let TD be a depth first search tree of G. Let TB be a breadth first search tree of G. Two statements are given. One, no edge in G is a cross edge with respect to TD. Cross edge in G is between two nodes, neither of which is an ancestor of the other in TD. Two, for every edge U, V of G, if U is at depth I and V is at depth J in TB, then distance between I and J or modulus of I minus J equal to 1. Which of the above statements must necessarily be true? So this is a question from data structures, particularly graphs. We have been given say sample graph G suppose and they are asking suppose we are constructing a BFS search tree and DFS search tree and these two statements are given they are asking which of these pertaining to these DFS search tree and BFS search tree are necessarily true. So let us take some sample graph let us say that this graph given here is G. Now I will try constructing the depth first search tree of this. Let us say we start from this node and we will be going depth first here. So from this node I will be going to this node here. This will have these two children so I can traverse to one of these. Suppose we go here. This has this again as the child here so we can go here. Up This has only these two childs but we have already covered these two here. So there is no more places to go from here so we will traverse back to the root and then we will go to the next child that is this one. This has two children, these two, we can go to one of these, say this and let us say we can go here. So this is the DFS tree here. In red dotted lines I have marked the edges in G which are not there in this DFS tree. So in the question they are asking is, they are saying no edge in G is a cross edge with respect to TD. So let us take a look at these edge, it is between this and this and this node is an ancestor of this node so it is not a cross edge similarly for this node as well this edge as well this node this node is an ancestor of this node so this is also not a cross edge similarly here as well we have this edge this node is a parent of this node so this is also not a cross edge so in this example we have chosen there are no cross edge but we can't use it to say that this will always be true but one property of Constructing a DFS tree is that suppose we suppose this is actually a cross node imagine this was a cross node in G but when we are constructing the graph we will at some point in DFS tree we will reach one of these nodes and then we will see this edge is there so this edge will definitely be traversed in some way so there is no way we can have a cross edge in an undirected graph you can try out more examples and see that a cross edge will never happen so one is true. Let us look at statement 2. Here we are constructing a BFS tree. The same thing we follow for this graph. We start with this node. Let us say this is a root node. It has these three children. So in BFS we will be adding these three first at depth 1. Then we look at depth 2 nodes. For this one there is this. We add that here. For this node there is only one this node but we have already added that. There is nothing more to add. and. Coming to this node, we have these two as children, so that's also at depth 2. And clearly, you can see that this node and this node is at depth 1 here. And there is an edge in graph G, this one, which is not in this. But i and j is 1 in this example. The difference is 0, it is not equal to 1. So this statement is false. So the answer is A, 1 only. And one more thing. They have given that it was an undirected graph. If it was a directed graph like this and if we were constructing the DFS tree then from here we would have gone here. But this is a directed node. We can't go to this node directly from this node. So we would have come back and then constructed added this node later. And this edge is there in G. It is not there here. And neither of these nodes are ancestors of each other in this tree. So this is actually a cross edge. So for statement 1, cross edges can happen in directed graphs, but in the question, they are given on directed graphs, so A only stands. So.